if that video looked a little interesting to you, well, that's probably because it's significantly different than what we normally do. And the whole thing was built off of a generative AI prompt. Now, going into this prompt, uh, I researched a lot of different ways. In, in all reality, with artificial intelligence and this, the new generative AI products that are out there um, that you can't program yourself. For instance, like I didn't go in and, and program the back end of the AI to produce certain things. I just put in prompts similar to like chat GPT or something, you know, like GPT-4. I put in AI prompts to produce a video on the use of generative AI in the aviation industry. And this is what it came up with. I find it interesting specifically because it took several iterations, probably 10 to 15 iterations of working specific things in the prompt for it to produce the results that it did. Now, I'm not gonna dive into the use of generative AI or AI in general in the aviation industry as it did a pretty decent job at covering that. However, again, it's all going back to what you are asking that AI to do, how it's coded, how it's prompted, how it's set up, the parameters that you give it. And if you set the parameters within, you know, even at a basic level of use, for instance, what we're doing here, if you set the parameters, um, within a left and right limit and tell it very specifically what to do, generative AI does a pretty good job at doing it. The entire internet and the entire, you know, web service platform is its knowledge base. And it will draw from that. It'll scour articles, pick some, you know, pick a multitude of things from different articles and produce exactly what you're asking it for. I highly recommend if you want to learn more or if you have a question, start integrating these AI tools into your everyday life, whether that is, you know, you being a lawyer or you wanting to reference something from the far aim, you can literally go to chat GPT uh, using GPT-4, GPT-3 and say, you know, reference regulations regarding VFR weather, and it will give you exact references for that. And it does an incredible job at breaking everything down. And then if you want to build on that, or let's say you're building a class, you could even say, hey, you know, list FAA investigations regarding X, Y, and Z parameters. And it will generate everything that it can find based on that. And then you can narrow down the prompts on those specific topic areas to build the knowledge. And then you could even ask it to build out a key point list for you to teach off of. The, the idea of generative AI is completely changing the way that not only businesses run, but that people can operate and find information more efficiently. This is just a brief example of its use. We did a video on generative AI in the aviation industry using a generative AI platform. And it's pretty incredible what it can do. If you have any thoughts on AI, I'm very curious to hear what they are. Drop in the comments below. Be sure to smash the subscribe button if you want to see more of what we're doing. And we appreciate you stopping by the Brotalian channel. Till next time.